All right, welcome back to Morrowind. Today we will continue our exploration series. So we're gonna explore Tamriel Rebuild. In previous part, we explored Old Ebonheart. And it was really fun. It's a huge place. Let's take a look one more time. You can see all the houses, all the buildings. It's a really decent, decent sized city. It actually feels like a city. And my favorite part was a Grand Chapel of Talos, right here. And there's this huge castle with a Ebon Tower. So all in all, I really like the place. And now we're gonna continue. And I know in previous part I said we will we will go to Firewatch, but. I want to check the boats and see if I can go to Firewatch directly from Old Ebonheart. If I remember correctly, this is the ship that we used to come to arrive to Old Today Ebonheart. Today is your lucky day, so let's hear it. Right. Why swim when you can sail? Nice. Destination, the Scarling Queen. Can take you from Old Ebonheart to Almastir, Eldrim, and Ebonheart on Wardenfield. Oh, okay. So from old Ebonheart, we can choose when it comes to Tamriel Rebuilt or the mainland between Ildrim or Almastir. Now, honestly, I don't know about any of these places, so uh, let's go to Ildrim and see what it is. And eventually, we will reach Firewatch and all the other cities I plan to visit. So, uh, oh, right. What do you want? All right. Okay. So let's see where we are. So we sail straight east, and uh, as you can see, this is a village. I can see uh, some Dwemer ruins in the distance. So. It reminds me of the villages uh, back in Wardenfell on the Bitter Coast. Although little, somewhat bigger in size. So let's see what can we find here. I'm listening. Guys, okay, Marcus Reprus. And we already have a quest, or an optional quest to get his ring. I uh, was just going on to Old Ebonheart for Akamora. Okay. Not now. This is already in our quest. And this is his shack. Yofgar Stone Eye. What's okay. this all about? Yofgar Stone Eye, uh, Nord living here. Let's see his, his background. My background is of little importance. Interesting. Okay. I'm sure you live a interesting life, Yofgar Stone Eye. Regular shacks, yes, nothing really special. Daryl Draven locked, okay. That's him. I think he is fishing. I'm contemplating the bay. Pretty at this time of day, huh? On a clear day, I can see all the way to Wardenfell. Yep. Here we see another Nord. Sielva. Who are you? She's a hunter. All right. 
Good hunting. Today is your lucky day. So let's hear it. Yep. Oh, we have something. Winterbreak Hostel. Okay, interesting. A little hostel here. Charna Gramol. Okay, we can rent a bed here. That's very good. Strength okay. is a virtue. Let's take a look at the hostel. Oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> a huge underground mine. Wow, looks very fun. Nice. I'm listening. Go ahead. Pilgrim. So, Ildrim, that's the place where we are right now. It's, she says it's a suitable stop on my way down to Amalexia. Hmm. I got the boat from Firewatch. Okay, so apparently we can or, uh, we can travel to Firewatch from here, or at least from Firewatch to Eldrim. We'll see. We'll see. Nice. And she's traveling to Amalexia, and I, I am not sure if there is Amalexia actually. I think it's not finished yet. Maybe there's just a town without NPCs. Uh, we'll take a look. But this is a really interesting place. I have a feeling that there are some quests related because it's really huge. Like there's something going on here. Some smuggling maybe. Very shady looking. I'm not gonna go all, all the way there. But it's very fun, very nice design. I could totally see myself just renting one of these caves and turning into my home for studies and it just looks so comfortable. The necklace. Speak freely, friend. Uh, yes, who are you? Another native? No, obviously not. You represent important business interests from Cyrodiil. Hmm. I was told I had been booked at the master suite in a high-value establishment. I think my bosses may have had a different interpretation. Yeah, he doesn't really like it here. Okay. Good, it's... We have some interesting NPCs, different backgrounds. Nice. Very well done. So let's go back to the surface. If I, if I can find my way this way. Yep. Okay. Nice little place you have here. Citizen. Charna Gromal. And there's someone behind you? I just noticed. Ritom Erle. Oh, he's also working here. Oh no, that's. You shouldn't be here. Why? Oh, he's a cook. Get stuck here. Try to unstuck. Okay. Nice, I didn't expect to find some kind of a hostel or basically any kind of uh, place of interest in this little village. It's very cozy. Aaron Metis, just a native, commoner. People love to read around Outland. here. What do you want? There's a book pretty much in every house. What's this? Oh, I like this armor, Indoril Guard. Wealth beyond wow. measure, Outlander. Okay, okay, this is interesting. So, this territory, I think, belongs to Indoril House, or House Indoril. And in Wardenfell, um, 
this house, if I remember well, they don't own any territory. They're just in service of the temple, the temple guards. So they can be found on the Vivek city or in the Vivek city as temple guards and where else? Yeah, I think around the ghost gate. That's pretty much it. And there are some crusaders who fight Daedra, I think, in these ruins here. I forgot. So, uh, so I think this territory now is under the House Interreal, which is interesting to see. And it's, I really like this armor, actually. It's not as uh, a ceremonial or grand as those Imperial, I mean, uh, Interreal guards in the Wardenfell, which makes sense because those are ceremonial uh, armors, they look very expensive, so it will be kind of too much if all the Interreal have this very expensive, super uh, tough armor. Now, I didn't, I didn't use any uh, grass mods, but of course there are ways to mod even Tamriel Rebuild to make it more graphically modern and enhanced. Even though I actually I like it this way too, I think it's very atmospheric. I like the vanilla look of the game, so I don't have a problem with this. Um, okay, let's see what's this. Oh, it says Eldrim. Let's check these shacks around here. Aaron Mattis and Danny Mattis, so there's like a family. This is a huge place. Sterling's Shack. Oh, he said they have an altimer. Yes, Nord. What do you want? You may call me Sterling. This is my town, the residence, yes. You seem to find that quite hard to comprehend. I assure you, it makes perfect sense to me. Well, that's all that matters. A new trader just set up in town, Irlay. Okay. What kind of book is this? I cannot find right now. Okay. All in all, it's a pretty interesting little village. I'm the first time here, really. I want to find this trader that she just mentioned. There's a whole part of town that I didn't explore this way. Oh, there's a one trader here. My name is Fari Mirnis. I'm a local girl. Yep, that's a small town on the inner sea coast of Azura's Bay. Hmm. Proud citizens of the Sundered, Sundered Seer. Okay, so this is Azura's Bay, Sundered Seer. I'm really not familiar with the geography here, so. Okay. And I think Amalexia is here somewhere on the south. Uh, this, oh, this is really amazing armor. I really like it. I'm listening. Go ahead. I love the colors, this blue and gold. Ew. Disgusting. <laughs> I just love this little comments you they make. Got the better of you. You're late. Okay, so this is the new trader. She just came to a town. It's a red guard. Uh, let's see what she has. Two wheels wind blade. Nice. Fortify attack, fatigue, sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Awesome, nice little piece of enchanted weaponry. Some scrolls. Okay. Alchemical items. Not bad. And also what I like is uh, pretty much all these new NPCs on the mainland. They have uh, usually a unique uh, dialogue. Not this generic uh, response like in the Waterfell. In the original game. Let's check this place here. Basics. These are all the new books added by the mod.
guy doing? Matsera. Matsera. And what do you require of the local hetman? A uh, hetman. I wonder if hetman is some kind of like a village leader or elder. I'm Golos Merevu, an old resident of Ildrim, much loved by its people, yes. A very fine town, indeed. Very peaceful. Okay. It's here. So it's basically a swamp marsh region. Very similar to Bitter Coast on Wardenfell. Nice little town. I think it serves mostly as a stop between, uh, let's say, Ab Old Ebonheart and Firewatch. So. I think we check all of it now. Take a look around. So, if you go here, that's Old Ebonheart, Amar. Kamora are this way, and this way I'm Alexia and Merilag. I haven't decided yet where should I go next. I'll check both. I just want to take a look around, uh, around the village, actually. Everything is green and grey. Standard, uh, waterfall colors. What crap? Let's better run away. Okay, so this is Ildrim. It's a nice little town just east of Old Ebonheart. Well, not really just east, it's kind of far away if you compare it to Wardenfell map. Uh, far, it's a long walk actually if you just decide to walk from Old Ebonheart to Ildrim. So I'm gonna check the shipmaster and see where can I go from here. Because I think that's the only way of transportation. This guy is just watching the sea. Okay. You want something, friend? Yeah, that's the only boat here. Let's, so let's find. Let's see the options that we have. What is this regarding, Nord? Uh, she can take us to Marog, Helnim, Telbranora is in Waterfell, and we can go back to Old Ebonheart. All right. So next, next destination will be either Marog or Helnim. I think I've heard of Helnim. Actually, I think I used to visit Helnim on my previous playthroughs long ago. It's a pretty decent, interesting town. So, I think that's where we're gonna go next, Helnim. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part three.